Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, we have the 67 out of the garage. We stretched your legs and this video is gonna be all about this car, all the features that it came with, everything it was ordered with. And then later on, in a couple weeks, I will do more of a Doug DeMuro style video, if you know who that is, about quirks and features of a 1967 Mustang. Um, that'll be more generalized about all that, but this is gonna be specific to this car. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. So as you can see, the color of the Mustang is yellow. It is original to the car. It is originally springtime yellow, which I believe is date factory code eight. So it was ordered with springtime yellow, and then it was also ordered with the exterior decor group. So as you can see on the hood, there are turn signals. And when you indicate the turn signals, you get the blinking light on the left or right side of the hood. With that, you also got chrome along the wheel wells and then you also got chrome on the back deck lid. So if you did not have the exterior decor group, that would just be blank along with the wheel wells. So other than that, that is about the only exterior option this car had. About the only one I do know of that you could have gotten was there was an insert on the back that you could get, but this car did not have that. And while we're out here on the exterior, I'll go ahead and mention all the work that we've done on the undercarriage to this car. So when we bought this car five years ago in 2000, 13 I believe 14 I think the winter of 2013 14 yeah is when we got it so we found it up in northern Indiana we knew the floors were rusted so new floor pans from the front to the back new frame rails in the cabin along with a new frame rail on the front that supports the engine so uh, hopefully you can see this frame rail back there is what we had to replace. So that's brand new. And then also in convertibles, only in convertibles, you have this extra frame rail right here. So normally at the door lip right here, it just goes straight down. But with convertibles, you have no roof. So you need that extra rigidity. So there's a frame, extra frame rail right there. And both those on both sides were rusted out. So we had to replace both of those. The torque boxes, which convertibles only have as well, I believe had to be replaced, they're up where your feet go. You can't really see those in any shots. So all those have been replaced. And I believe that's all the sheet metal work we did. It took a while though. We also gutted the interior at the same time. So we redid the interior. So we spent one whole winter doing that in the interior. And then this past spring, we did the engine. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the engine bay. So this car has the 289, c code motor so that means 289 with the two barrel and for those of you that don't know two barrel carburetors essentially have two holes on top of them this is where the fuel and the air goes into the top of the engine and you could have a four barrel which has four holes and then fuel goes in and air goes into those so with the four barrel you got more power and with the two barrel you didn't so this is the base model v8 that you could get uh, this is also paired to a three-speed automatic which we'll get to when we go into the interior but this winter we rebuilt this whole engine and redid the whole interior of the engine bay as you can see we repainted back to the original semi-gloss black is what the original engine bay was supposed to be colored so that's what we put it back to we put a new radiator into it we pulled the engine out we took it down to the block sent it off to a machine shop they found out that cylinder number one had some issues with it and had to be bored out to 30 thousandths over and so the whole engine block got bored out to 30 thousandths over which is okay i think these motors can be bored all the way out to 60 over before the walls get too thin in the cylinders so they did that and then when we got it back we reassembled it and we painted it back to the original blue that it was supposed to be which is ford motor company blue and then a little fun fact about this was 67 not only did they redesign the mustang but they also did mid-year changes to it so one of the mid-year changes is the washer fluid bag so as you can see this car has a washer fluid bag and halfway through they switched to a washer reservoir so the normal plastic that normal cars have on so this is one of the earlier mustangs i forget now exactly when this one was made but it has the window washer bag in it and when we rebuilt it obviously we put all new hoses in it make it look original 
we put the original two barrel back on it and actually the original isn't on it right now it's currently going to get shipped out this week out to oregon to get rebuilt it currently has the two barrel off of the 66 i went that got that rebuilt here locally in town they didn't do that great of a job it, i mean it functions fine it doesn't leak it just looks real bad so if you're in indianapolis don't go to vans to get your carburetor rebuilt it's they'll do it it'll function if you just want a functioning carburetor then sure but it, for the price they charge i would expect a lot higher quality work so don't go there but that was a side note back to the engine so two barrel carburetor the original is coming it'll be back on here in probably three weeks um air cleaner standard everything else is standard in here back to original factory so with that let's let's go ahead and uh, jump into the uh, interior so as you can see this is a black interior standard interior car this is actually the first year that they didn't offer pony interior 66 was the last year they did so if you wanted the deluxe interior essentially in the middle right here you would just you get a little nicer seats then you just get a little bar right there but this came with standard interior it actually was ordered with a console in the middle which we still do have we did not put it in we actually modeled this car after another car which i will tell you about here in a second but this has standard interior standard black interior there's nothing real special about it so let me tell you now about what we wanted to do with this car so i personally do not own this car this is not my car this is my dad's car he bought this when i was in high school uh to restore because uh, back in 1971 or no 77 i believe 77 or 78 his mother bought for him a 1967 mustang convertible so just like this one except his original was lime gold so i'll go ahead and throw that one up for you so back when he got that he just had to put new floor pans in and that's about it and he drove it and he rebuilt the engine put it back in he put a four barrel and dual exhaust on that one uh, this one he did not want to he wanted to put it back to factory so that's what we ended up doing we actually bought a four barrel for this car it is not going on this car it is going to go on my 66 which you guys are currently watching the rebuild on that sorry it's so boring but that's just the way rebuilds are they take forever when you're doing them yourself so back to his original car it was a 67 mustang convertible lime gold restored it and then when he met my mom he ended up selling it to buy a house when they got married so a picture of his 67 was always hanging in the garage when i was growing up and when i started getting into cars to me that was the most awesomest car you could have that's when i started falling in love with old mustangs so eventually i was cruising the craigslist one day back in the day and found one here in indiana for a decent price and we went and looked at it and we were able to bring it home which is this car so we actually so this is why there's no middle console in this car is because his original car did not have a middle console in it it also did not have the exterior decor group but this car is staying with exterior decor group we're not going that hard core original or back to his so that's why there's no middle console in it and why i personally love old mustangs and why i personally think 67 is the best year and this car's name is actually betty jean we named it after my grandmother who bought my dad his original uh, she passed away a few years ago now so this car 67 is called betty jean so from here on out if you hear me call a car betty jean um, or say the name i'm referring to this 67 so that's the story behind this car what's special about this car and why i personally love 67 mustangs and why my whole family or my dad and i do so this one holds a special place in our heart i'm actually currently trying to find my dad's original mustang um, it's proving very difficult i had the serial number but no one can run it for me because it's illegal so right now it's just word of mouth trying to find it but down that rabbit hole but that's an explanation on this car and coming up next 66 video you'll see i don't know i have to edit those still uh the next 67 video you will see like i said in the beginning was 
It'll be a in-depth review on this car, driving it, what it's like to drive, what all the options were in 67, more of a broad general view of 67s. But that is the story behind this car, the options of this car, in-depth, kind of, in-depth. So thanks for watching, thanks for checking me out, and I hope to see you guys next time.